זה נדע תורה. הפעם האחרונה שהוא פגש אותי זה היה בבית הסוהר. הוא היה בבית הסוהר, אני לא. באתי עם הניצולים של משפחת פוגל. אנחנו זוכרים את כולם, אני מקווה. היה קשה לי מאוד להיפגש עם ילדים ששרדו רצח כל כך אכזרי של הוריהם. והבנתי בדרך מסוימת שכולנו אחראים על מה שקרה. אם אנחנו מסוגלים למנוע אירועים כאלה ואנחנו לא עושים, אז האחריות נופלת עלינו. מבחינה מסוימת. חשבתי על כמה דרכים איך להגיב על הרצח הזה. One of course was to uh, find the murderers and treat them accordingly. Second was to build up the land. And the other was to... You don't hear that perhaps from... And the other was to plant trees here, all of you. הדרך השלישית הייתה לנטוע עצים פה, כולכם. You can define a tree by nature, and you can define a tree by halacha. אפשר להגדיר עץ על פי הטבע, אפשר להגדיר עץ על פי ההלכה. But when you study halacha, and you study Talmud Gemara, you're actually rising up above nature. כשאתה לומד הלכה, אתה לומד גמרא, אתה מתרומם. And you're seeing a glimpse, a small glimpse, a glimpse of Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and what will be. Because what you're studying now is not just the past, and it's not just the present. But it's the future as well. So when you study, you're looking forward. Because what you're studying will be reality very shortly in the session. It will be reality very shortly. This is not, this is not theory that you're studying. This is practicality and it's the future. Several months ago, my wife and I went to Kever Yosef. For a Hachnesat Sefer Torah. For a Hachnesat Sefer Torah. Well, my accent is not good, so they might not get it. And I felt the same way, I feel the same way now, Akshav, that I did when we went to the Kever. Because when we went to the Kever, I saw what was. And now I see what will be. I waited almost 13 years to go to the Kever Yosef with that Torah, that Sefer Torah. 13. We started writing 13 years. 
אני מחכה 13 שנה להגיע לקבר יוסף. חיכינו, 13. זה נכתב כשהוא ישב בבית סוהר. אנחנו כתבנו את הספר תורה, והוא כתב את זה, בית סוהר. הוא כתב בבית הסוהר ספר תורה. כן, I hope you understood. No. I lived it. It's a pity. I know, I lived it. Ah, you lived it. I lived it. I said, I hope you understood. He said, no, but I lived it. So, the I remember when I met Kavod Arav Mordechai Yahu, Zeph Tzadik, who put his name down. And he asked me what I was thinking about spending all this time in prison. And he knew at that time that the Americans had uh, broken my back, had broken my ankles, and had uh, hit me pretty hard <laughs> in the head. So he asked me that question, how are you feeling? So I, I said to him, I thank God for the opportunity to go through that. Why? Number one, the Goyim don't really know who we are. They think we're all a bunch of Galut Yehudim who are interested primarily in Gashmiel. And that's it. So you hit somebody hard enough, they'll talk. What they didn't understand is that for us, you hit us hard we get stronger. And this is why I thank God. Because he let me see exactly how strong a real Jew like you should be and can be. Now it didn't help me very much when I kept saying thank you <laughs> every time I got hit. But it helped me. And it was a very important lesson for me and for all of us here in Eretz HaKodesh. No matter how hard they hit us, and it doesn't matter whether it's in the Knesset or whether it's just outside, we're home. And we're not going anywhere. And the harder they hit us, the stronger we become. 
יותר חזקים and it all starts here הכל מתחיל מפה because you know exactly why we're here כי אתם יודעים בדיוק למה אנחנו פה you know where we came from אתם יודעים מאיפה באנו and you know where we're going אתם יודעים לאן אנחנו הולכים and it doesn't matter whether it's the United States זה לא משנה מה שאומרים or the United Nations or the United Nations or even the president of the United States no one has the right no one at all to tell us where we can and cannot live in our land because if you want to know where our our deed our 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 claim to the land is כי התביעה שלנו על ארצנו It's right there It's all there All there אה, זה פה, זה פה בכל מקום It's all there So as bad as things are הגרוע הוא And as bad as things unfortunately will be והכי גרוע לצערנו שיהיה We're looking forward to a wonderful שאנחנו מצפים לגאולה שלמה נפלאה חושבים שהגאולה תבוא פתאום או עם נשיקה במכה או בנשיקה הכל תלוי בנו ואנחנו נלמוד ונפעול And אם יעשה השם, very soon, we'll see the result of the learning and the strength. ובעזרת השם בקרוב אנחנו נראה את התוצאות של הלימוד שלנו ואת הכוח. And then we'll see the בית המקדוש. It's there. It's already there. ואנחנו נראה את בית המקדש, הוא כל הזמן פה, הוא פה. You just have to see it here and here. אתם צריכים רק לראות אותו פה. And with enough strength, and yes, unfortunately, enough suffering, it will, it will appear. The yeshiva I went to was a very hard one. There's a prison. And it wasn't a very nice prison. People died every day in the worst possible way. And I want to leave you with one, just one story to explain what it was like. In prison, um, paper for the bathroom was worth killing for and dying for. So one day, the captain of our unit told me to go to another unit to get 100 rolls of toilet paper. And I looked at him and I said, this is a, a death warrant. He didn't care. He said, he said uh, you go. So I went and I got a big box and as I was coming back to my unit I heard Um, a, a riot, like a figure, a big, a, a gadol, a big uh, terrorist type. And I turned the corner and for 30 meters there was Gehenna. The, uh, the Mexicans and the uh, blacks Muslims were uh, fighting. 
with, with knives. And here I am, a Jew, with a box of death. <laughs> and at the end of the hall was the officer who, who sent me to Gehenna and my roommate. The, the man, the person I was living with, and they were both just shaking their head because they thought they were looking at a dead man. So I can't go back. I have to go forward. So I, so I shut my eyes. And I said the Shema over and over and over again. And I could feel people falling at my feet. And I had to, and I had to step over them. Dead. And somehow, when I opened my eyes, I was, I was, I was at the end of the hall. And there is the officer who sent me to Gehenna with his eyes open. <laughs> and I said, please, open the door for me because I have this package of death for you. <laughs> and the door was shut. And I, I stood there for just a few moments and I said, I learned my lesson. And what was the lesson? A very simple one. Fear no one but Hashem. That's all. Hashem. No man. No government. No No politician. No politician. No one. Hashem. Hashem. And if you remember that, life will be very good for you. So I give you now all a bracha, Yevarech Haranoi Mitzion, or a bitul Yerushalayim, Kol Yimei Chayecha, or a Nahim Levanecha, Shalom, 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 Al Yisrael. Amen. Amen. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שהחיינו את עמנו והגיענו לזמן הזה.